welcome back to Through the Trap Door. I'm Katie. And I'm Emily. And this is our podcast where we're blah, 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 where we read you Harry Potter fan fiction. Sorry. <laughs> Katie's actually here this week. <laughs> yeah, and it's actually a recording, so this is delightful. We checked. Yep, we did. So what do you have for me this week? Um, well, I forgot it was my turn. Good, I good saved, start. I saved this a, a minute ago. It's from 2009. Uh, it's uh, Fermione, of course. Of course. Because what else do I read? Uh, it's 600 words. Well, a okay. little over 600 words, almost seven. So. Good. It's called Argumentative. Okay. So, here we go. As Hermione <laughs> swiftly rounded the corner past the last classroom on the fifth floor, she stifled to a halt. Why did you just thank me? I did nothing. <laughs> Although she didn't want to, she was a prefect. What? She totally wanted that. Yeah. And therefore needed to amend the situation on p- upon which she had stumbled. Fred Weasley. That's 25 points from Gryffindor. So, question. Yeah. And you're probably the best person to answer this. Can prefects take points away? I feel like in some books, like in like the very beginning... Percy took points away, but then later they talk about how they couldn't, and then at the very end, well, I say very end, but it was book five, like, that was one of the benefits that, like... So, my understanding was always that they couldn't actually take points away, because Percy never took points away, he gave out detentions, which prefects could do. Right. But then the Inquisitorial Squad... Could. Umbridge's little minions could take away points. Yes. Yes. I feel like, if anything, giving a detention is worse than just taking away a few points. Right. Like, I would be like, okay, Prefix, you can take away up to 20 points unless it's a serious situation, and then obviously get a professor. Right. So. Yeah. That was always my understanding. She scolded loudly, causing Fred to spin around and face her. Why are you removing points from your own house? Seems a bit ridiculous, doesn't it? It's fact. Fred responded, trying in vain to hide the sickly-looking Dennis Creevy behind him. The younger Creevy brother made hideous retching noises, giving himself away completely. (laughs) I also now remember reading this story. Okay. It's cute. Because I saw you blatantly testing your puking pastilles on Dennis. Hermione was exasperated and showing it. (laughs) So, so, Hermione was appalled. So, you can't test your vomit-inducing products on our students, Fred. I mean, fair. Oh, get off it, Hermione. It's not a big deal. I mean, it is. It is. He replied, turning back to Ze- turning back to Dennis. Here you go, kiddo. We're all done here. You can run along. Fred handed the boy three sickles and patted him on the head. Three sickles? That's not even going to get you a butterbeer. No. Hermione watched Dennis gripping his abdomen as he waddled away. Waddled. Waddled. Fred, it is a big deal. I realize I'm only a prefect, but I can take this directly to Professor McGonagall if I need it. Well, yeah, where else would you take it? I know, like, Dumbledore? Like but He knows the order of things. Yeah. Lighten up. I have, I have a canary cream. Fred tried to hand her one of his candies, but Hermione pushed it away quickly. She's not an idiot, Fred. She's gonna know. You also called it a canary cream. Like, if you wanted to give her one, give her one that you were more creative on the name. Right. You are so infuriating, Fred Weasley, and I think you are simply afraid to behave. (laughs) Afraid? Hermione crossed her arms hoidily. Yes, afraid to let anyone catch you doing what you should, being a proper example of good behavior for the younger students. That does not sound like something that he would ever do, ever. And it's not a Fred Weasley move. Fred grinned, watching the witch in her heated passion. 
Hermione, I'm not afraid to behave, he promised her, leaning casually against the wall very near her. Actually, aside from a howler from my mom, I'm not really afraid of anything. You should be afraid of a howler from Molly. Yes. Yep. (laughs) Oh, really? Hermione asked, taking on an unbelieving tone. Prove it then, she challenged. Fred complied by leaning down and pressing his lips to hers with feverish passion. Whew. Hermione stumbled back a step, adjusting to the feeling of his kiss, and Fred pulled her against him. She tried in vain to push her hands against his chest, trying to make him release her. Instead, her hands soon found their way around his neck, holding him close. Well, yeah, because you clearly love him. It's fine. You're just meant to be. Fred grinned slightly as her hungry lips, hungry lips, lips can't be hungry. Hers are hungry. I love descriptions in writing. It just makes me so happy. Fred grinned slightly as her hungry lips nipped and nibbled at his own. It's a weird kiss that they're having. (laughs) It's a really weird visual. It was apparent that Hermione was no longer afraid at this point either. Sighing contently, Hermione eased back down from her tiptoes and released Fred's lips. I don't think that she was afraid at any point during the kiss. Yeah, I don't think so. (laughs) That wasn't scary at all now, was it? He asked, smiling happily. (laughs) I don't think a a kiss can be scary. Your kiss is not frightening, Fred. I just can't believe you kissed me. Hermione gasped, realizing she had just snogged Fred in the middle of a fifth floor corridor. Is this a prank? She asked skeptically. And I didn't kiss you. You kissed me. Her voice had become rather shrill. (laughs) And she was blushing quite a deep shade of red. Yes, you did. Just wait. Just you wait, Fred Weasley, until I tell your mother about this. You most (laughs) definitely (laughs) will. We'll be receiving a howler. She stormed off trying to hide her flushed face from a brightly smiling Fred. (laughs) That's great. (laughs) Well, she put as much distance between them as she could. She was forced to contemplate why Fred had just kissed her and felt so perfect. Because he likes you. Right. And you like him. It's really not that weird. It's not that hard. Hermione, you're smart. Think about it. Once she was out of sight, Fred chuckled out loud. Actually, Mom would be thrilled if she knew how much I fancied the prim proper Gryffindor prefect. (laughs) (laughs) Hermione had put him in such an excellent mood that he practically skipped down the hall in search of his next test subject. Love it. As adorable and cute and little. Love it. That is so cute. Alright, hi everybody. So, the boys have now joined us. Um, We tried to include them both on last week's episode, but as you know, it did not record. And you've already met Ben, but now my husband, Nicholas, is here. Say hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. (laughs) (laughs) Classic. Classic. He thinks he's funny. (laughs) Classic Nick joke. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> he is pretty funny, just so you know. Do you want to read us some Harry Potter pickup lines? Oh, then you can ask us some questions. First of all, I just going to let the listeners know what is going on at this round table right now. So we're all currently eating right now sugar cookies that are all four houses and dipping them into homemade frosting. Delicious. It is. It's pretty outstanding. It is like mind blown. Like, and eating and drinking scotch or whiskey. <laughs> what am I drinking? Scotch. scotch. Yeah, that's, that's my thought. Scotch. We gotta drink some scotch. Katie's actually the only one not drinking tonight. Yeah. Or my she, tidbit under the weather. Yeah, she might be getting under the weather. So, lucky, lucky me. We're doing Harry Potter themed pickup lines for our um, final episode of 2018 as a treat for you guys. We. We're just adding it to the end here for you. Yeah. I have some uh, James hitting on Lily pickup lines. Yes. 
If I could hold a star every time you made me smile, I would have the entire night sky in the palm of my hand. I hope the star explodes and you die. That's not a pickup. No, no. Here, no here, see, this is one. no. This this is more James trying to hit on Lily, <laughs> hot messness, and Lily having none of it. Lily being a sass machine. Here's a Harry Potter pickup. All right, I'm ready. Are you a snitch? Because you're by far the greatest catch here. That's a pickup line. You're a pickup line. <laughs> you're a pickup line. All right, who else got one? All right. I'm also reading from the same list that Emily is, and this one spoke to me was that an earthquake or did i just rock your world no that was peter's charm backfiring and making the common room shake <laughs> and the guys are either. so unamused i don't by get these. that one either no um, uh, i'm right. not wearing an invisible cloak but do you think i could still visit your restricted section tonight <laughs> that <laughs> one like was good that. that's a good one <laughs> all right i got one all right Call Ollivander, because I think my wand has found its master. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I love that one. That's good. That's good. If you stood in front of a mirror and held up 11 roses, you would see the 12 most beautiful things in the world. If you stood in front of a mirror, it would break. <laughs> Again, not a pickup line. The second part is Lily sassing him. Oh. Yeah, wow. the first half is pickup line. The second half is the sassafras. I got a good one. All right, I'm ready. Yeah, I could be your house elf. I'll do whatever you want, and I don't need no any clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a sock. All right, I got a sassafras one going okay. here. Your eyes are as strikingly green as um uh, a frog. <laughs> Charming. It sounded better in my head. Sure it did. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, Ben. Yeah, Nick? I'm very interested in exploring your chamber of secrets. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nick. Yeah? You must play Quidditch. Yeah? I know a keeper when I see one. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. the rug get so crooked? Uh, Piper. We have two dogs. Ben, by the way, we're reading from the same list. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> I love that the boys have just dissolved into hitting on each other. I know. I can make you scream louder than a, than a mandrake. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's this little thing. It's that little thing. The oh. thing, the plant things. Oh, okay. Make yeah. you pass They scream pretty loud. They do. I can make you scream louder. <laughs> No, he's going to make some people pass out. Oh, yeah. Hey, Emily. What? Is this the Hogwarts Express? Mm. No. Because it feels like you and I are headed somewhere magical. <laughs> that was delightful. Yeah, that's a great one. Well, Kate. Yeah? The Sorting House hat has spoken. What? Yeah. It says I belong in your house. <laughs> That one just sounds stalkery. <laughs> it did sound a bit stalkery. I may not be the boy who lived, but I can still be your chosen one. I got some world-class cheese right here. It good now, yeah. Hey, Emily. Yes? You must be my horcrux. Yes. Why? Because you complete me. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> we're literally, I think we're I literally think like, whoever, f- like following each other down the list. <laughs> I think whoever wrote that pickup line does not know what a horcrux is. Yeah, that's not how horcruxes work. Well, that's how I find these funny. Joke. Okay. Well, I'm just saying that means you murdered someone to put your soul inside Emily. Oh, what, what's this? What's this? Which one, babe? Read number twenty-four, Ben. Why I, I just changed websites. Oh, damn it! Let me see. God damn it, Ben! Hey, you see my friend over there? Points to Sirius, who waves. He wants to know if you think I'm cute. How much did you pay Sirius to wave at me? <laughs> Five galleons, but that's not the point. <laughs> Interested in making some magic together? No. My wand's at the ready. Uh. If I could rewrite the alphabet, I would put you and me together. Me isn't a letter, Potter. <laughs> I! I meant I! I'm sure you did. <laughs> oh, here's a good Slytherin one. Going to bed? Mind if I Slytherin? 
<laughs> Girl, you finer than the difference between a hex and a curse. <laughs> oh, a classic right here. Your broom must be tired because you've been flying and flying through my th dreams all night. <laughs> classic, you know. <laughs> hey, babe, are you busy today? No, but you have a Quidditch match. Oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> Emily. What? Do you like Harry Potter? No. no. <laughs> because I double adore you. <laughs> that was good. I like that. That was really good. <laughs> Baby, are you a Nimbus 2000? Because you're sweeping me off my feet. Ooh. <laughs> There's two that go together here. Are you a parking ticket? What? Because you have fine written all over you. How do you even know what a parking ticket is? I have my ways. Followed by, I'm assuming, later on that same day. Do you have a map? I keep getting lost in your eyes. Actually, Sirius let me borrow the Marauders, Marauders map earlier. Do you want it back? How do you know about that? I have my ways. That's my line. <laughs> Anything else you want to talk about or should we wrap um, it up? I don't know. Well, what, next week, so this is our last one of 2018, not 19, yes. but the first one of 2019, we have found our next chapter story. We're excited. Super oh, excited. Um, it's something like 20-something chapters long, but we're going to try to condense it down to like 15-ish, I think. We'll try. We'll see what happens. We'll see where it takes you. That's the goal, though, is 15. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we have anything super exciting to announce right now other than that. No, that's it. We'll see you guys in the new year. We're super excited. See you next year. See you next year. Thank you so much for joining us on our journey through the trap door. Please leave us a review on Facebook or iTunes. It would literally mean the world to us. It really would. Uh, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at through the trap door 16 or on Twitter at the trap door. And please send us an email at throughthetrapdoor16 at gmail.com with any story suggestions. And as always, join us again next Saturday as we travel through the trapdoor. <laughs> <laughs>